It's the future, Michael. Oh, I'm not Michael. Oh, don't worry, he calls everyone Michael. The world of technology is constantly changing and evolving, and it can be difficult for us everyday folk to keep up. Each year, more and more gadgets and tech are taking over our grocery stores. From self-checkout to no checkout at all, the grocery store is changing. With that in mind, here are our 10 futuristic gadgets that are changing grocery shopping forever. I'm so excited. <laughs> Augmented reality. Many people already use augmented reality all the time in their daily life. Pretty soon, AR is going to be an integral part of our grocery shopping routine. The idea of this new system is to help everyone have a better shopping experience. Using special tracking and computer vision, the AR will be able to integrate with your shopping list and pick out any dietary or allergy-friendly foods you need. Ooh, finally I'm not a slave to my stupid human eyeballs. It will also guide you around the store in a more more efficient way. Plus, if you need to make a recipe, the system will pick out all the ingredients you need and show you where they are in the store. <laughs> that was so cool! We could well be seeing more of this AR technology in many walks of life soon. After all, most of us use our phones and apps for most things, especially shopping. Already, people write their shopping lists and use coupons within an app. So how much easier would it be to do all that with one single app Plus, you get your own shopping guide as well. Thank you for making it so easy. Q Vision. I'm going infrared, Lana. <gasps> it's just like Predator. If there is one thing that all of humanity has to suffer with, it's standing in line at the grocery store. We've all been there, and we all dislike it. But somehow it's okay, as this is a shared experience and we all suffer together. However, the days of standing in line for seemingly hours on end may well be a thing of the past. A big piece of technology making real waves in the grocery business is Q-Vision. Rolled out by grocery store giant Kroger, in 2012, QVision is designed to make grocery shopping a more pleasant experience. Using infrared cameras, sensors, and predictive analytics systems, QVision feeds real-time information directly to store managers. How do you know about my daily routine? Are you spying on me? The information helps the stores determine how many people are in the store at any one time, and therefore how many cash registers they need to open. Given enough time, QVision can actually start to predict what is going to happen on certain days and how busy it should be. The idea of this is that customers shouldn't have to spend a big part of their day in a line. QVision will know when it's busy and the store will already have enough cash registers open to make a shopping run faster and smoother. Our privacy policy tells you everything you need to know about why we collect your information. Scan and go. I will scan you now. Scan complete. As we've mentioned on this list already, a trip to the grocery store can be a nightmare. The next big thing that could really help deal with this issue is Scan and Go. Essentially, Scan and Go takes away the need to go to the cashier as you scan the food yourself. Well, how convenient. Using an app, the customer scans the barcode of the product and then places it in a bag or cart. When the shopping is done, the customer can either pay for the groceries via the app, therefore bypassing the cash register and lineups altogether. Or they can generate a single barcode on the app, which can then be scanned into a self-checkout. Whichever way you choose to pay, Scan and Go could actually make grocery shopping a pleasurable experience. I've never done this before. It's kind of fun. Smart carts. Hybrid mechanical intelligence entity. Basically a robot. So far on our list of gadgets that will change grocery shopping forever, we have mentioned a lot of tech that you can use on your phone to help you with your weekly shopping. Now we come to a gadget that the store is providing for you, and that's the smart cart. We have all had problems with a shopping cart. Not only is there never a cart when we need one, but when we do finally get our hands on one, we can never steer it properly, and the thing has a mind of its own. Not anymore. The smart cart is here to to help with our shopping, too. It's beautiful! Each cart is fitted with a scanner, so customers can scan the item before putting it in the cart. Much like the Scan and Go app, 
except it's built into the cart. Just in case you were wondering about foods that don't have a barcode, the Smart Cart has a built-in scale, so you can weigh the food as you put it in the cart. The Smart Cart also allows you to pay at your cart so you can avoid lineups and the cashier altogether. The Smart Cart is also loaded with artificial intelligence and machine learning tech that will actually be able to identify the products rather than customers having to scan them. That part of the Smart Cart isn't available yet, but we are assured that it is coming soon. The Smart Carts might not be coming to a grocery store near you yet, as it's the Canadian store Sobeys that are introducing this gadget. However, assuming that the Smart Cart does well with customers, we could be seeing this item in most grocery stores in the US and Canada soon. Oh, I can't wait. Amazon Go. The future of grocery shopping is now. That's according to Amazon. The internet shopping giant has recently expanded into the real world as they have started to roll out their physical stores across the country. The stores themselves look very futuristic, sleek and minimalist. The stores look more like tech boutiques than a grocery store. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. Just before everyone runs off to check out the Amazon Go stores, there are a few things you need to do first. The most important thing is to install their app, as you can't even enter the store without it. Then you have to log into it and set up an account if you don't already have one, then you are good to go. The store has a fancy turnstile that you must scan with the app in order to get in, and then everything inside the store is closely monitored by cameras and tracking technology, so it knows exactly who is in the store and what is going on. It also keeps tabs on what you were putting in your basket and what you put back, and can charge your account accordingly. That's amazing. That all sounds super futuristic, but the main selling point from these stores is that there are no lines whatsoever. There aren't even any cash registers. When you have done your shopping, you exit through the turnstiles, and then Amazon just charges the shopping to your card or bank via the app. You're buying it on Amazon, aren't you? Yep, they have drones now. The popularity of these stores is growing rapidly, so much so that Amazon is opening more and more across the country. Kroger and Microsoft. I'm enjoying this collaboration. That's right, one of the US's biggest grocery chains and one of the world's biggest tech companies are getting together to make grocery shopping an all-around better experience. The idea behind this partnership is to wage war on Amazon. In order to compete with Amazon, Kroger and Microsoft have come up with store ideas that will revolutionize the way we shop. The future is coming for us all, dudes. Adding a scan-and-go element to their store, customers will have a guided tour around the stores, as well as being able to scan their own products and pay for them in the app. On top of that, the stores will also use personalized shelf signs to help the customers complete their shopping. The shelves are covered in sensors and cameras that can convert the digital signs into relevant information. As these digital signs are linked with the app, they can also be used as advertising tools and can target specific products based on the customer's demographics and shopping history. Tracking my every move now? I sure as hell am. Warehouse Robots If you were like us, then you probably watched a lot of science fiction movies as children. More often than not, in those movies, robots would rise up and take over the world. We may be a long way off from that actually happening, but the robots have started to take over our grocery stores. Maybe this is their plan, to infiltrate our shopping habits and then strike when we are unaware. Maybe that's how it will all start. Does this mean you've conquered your fear of the robot uprising? I'm more terrified than ever. Until that day, we'll turn our attention to the grocery store warehouse. With online orders becoming big business, it can be difficult to keep on top of so many orders. There is a solution, however. Robots. British online delivery company Okado has thousands of busy robots packing grocery orders at their warehouse. That robot took our job! Using air traffic control technology, the robots move along a grid, communicating with each other and even self-charging for maximum efficiency. The use of robots in this way speeds up packing time, and therefore they can have a much faster turnaround when it comes to ordering and deliveries. U.S. retail giant Kroger is looking to use this technology in their warehouses, too, and have made a partnership with Okado to bring the robots to the U.S. I am considering a partnership. In-store robots. My God, we're on there! 
everywhere. As we have just mentioned, a big gadget that is changing grocery stores is robots. These robots are not just content with staying in the warehouses to pack our groceries. No, they are now moving into stores and are coming face to face with customers. There are in fact several companies using several robots in their stores. However, it's the googly eye robot that is grabbing all the headlines. Did you put googly eyes on the Roomba? Yeah, I like to look someone in the eyes as they clean for me. The robots can scan the shelves to see which foods need restocking or reordering. The other duty these googly-eyed robots, who is actually called Marty, will have is to warn customers of hazards and spills. It then notifies the staff to come and fix the problem. So it basically rolls around the stores, making sure everything is okay and everyone is safe. That's a good robot. While these in-store robots are being seen more and more, they do have have limited functions at the moment. However, we are sure it won't be long before they are being programmed with more complicated duties. And who knows, maybe Marty and friends will one day be running the entire grocery business. I need the money to pay off my mysterious boss, Mr. Robot. Nanotech. How about hooking me up with some of that sweet nanotech? Nanotechnology is one of the great sources for all science fiction, and now it's coming to food. Nanotechnology is the science of the very very small, and is measured in billionths of a meter. The nanoparticles are on similar scales to viruses and proteins. Using nanotech in food isn't a new thing. Mayonnaise, for example, uses this, as water and oil don't naturally mix. However, food sciences are starting to go further and using nanotechnology to manipulate the food in order to create a specific taste and even reduce the fat content significantly. You can eat as much as you want of whatever you want. They are also looking into reducing salt grains by a thousand times, which increases the surface area and makes the food need less salt without losing any flavor. Nanotech isn't just going into making food healthier and more sustainable, it is also going into the packaging. It could cut the use of harmful packaging, such as plastics, significantly. There is also research going into the packaging being able to change color if the food has gone bad. Potential. Lots of potential. Yes. Self-driving delivery. There's no one driving that car. Yeah, it's a smart car. Grocery delivery has had a big boom over the last decade or so. Being able to order your weekly food from your favorite grocery store online has been a revelation, or at least it was years ago. With the speed that technology moves, online grocery shopping seems a little dated. That is, until the groceries start driving themselves. What'll they think of next? A lot of grocery stores, Kroger, Walmart, and Amazon, in particular, are testing out self-driving cars. With companies such as Ford involved, the quest for the ultimate self-driving delivery vehicle is on. Not only are companies trying to go ahead with self-driving deliveries, but some are actually trying for self-driving grocery stores. The mini grocery stores drive themselves around and can be called via an app. Once the vehicle arrives, customers open the door and take what they need. In a similar vein to the Amazon Go stores, only much smaller, the vehicles and shelves have sensors and cameras so it knows what you've taken, then you get charged via the app and a receipt is emailed to you. The future of grocery shopping looks like it won't even have us going to the store, as the store will come to us. Well, I'll just leave the door open and go sit on the couch. Stay right here and tap on another one of our great videos. And for new viewers, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.